G'day adventurers, I'm Aussie Chell and welcome to another episode of Aussie Chell's Adventures. Today, I'm in my home country of Australia from in a hotel room that looks very much like this studio. Now, we got Coaster Chell on the live feed in the UK and today I set him a very important challenge where today I'm going to be getting him to rate Thought Park roller coasters using this very special star rating system used in one of my favourite programs of all time known as I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. So make sure you go and watch I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here when it comes back on screen and I'm going to take you to Coaster Chill back in Doncaster where we get to take you through the star ratings of the Thought Park roller coasters. Make sure you stay safe, stay socially distant and I'll be back in a future video for another Aussie Chat Adventure. Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Shell. welcome to this video. Now, if you'd have told me, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, would you like to do it? I would have said yes, and then a few seconds later, I would have said no. But, we're going to be using the I'm a celebrity system today, because of course we're going to be rating Thought Park roller coasters. There's two I have not done, the Flying Fish and the Walking Dead the Ride. Now, of course, I haven't even done X or X No Way Out. I know, I need to do it. But... Basically, we're going to use the five that I've already done and we're going to rate them using the Bush Tucker Trial Star System. The better it is, the more Bush Tucker Stars it wins. For those of you who like this video, make sure you give it a like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never shoot your video. We've got plenty more videos coming. And for now, guys, let's get straight into this. So first of all, for those of you who have no idea what me or Ozzy Chow was talking about earlier, I'm a Celebrity is a fantastic show. It's located in Australia, there's an Australian version as well, there's also the UK version which is more familiar to me, and basically celebrities get put in this jungle, they eat rice and beans and they win food by doing disgusting trials, whether it's endurance based challenges, eating trials, I feel sick it's just saying it, with those trials they win stars and of course they keep voting them out until you get your king or queen, could be a queen, of the jungle. I've said this in the past. Again, it's one of those shows where if I was approached, I would say yes and then a few seconds later say no. But today, I want to use the Bush Tucker Stars and I want to rate Thought Park Roller Coaster because Thought Park used to have an I'm a Celebrity Maze attraction. So it was a no-brainer this video. It's an absolute no-brainer. But let's get into rating some Thought Park Coasters. So we start in alphabetical order, which means we start with the letter C. Which, of course, stands for Colossus. Now, this is an Intamin 10 looping roller coaster that first opened to the park way back in 2002. Now, this stands on the Trapper's Trail site, which is a former playground. Now, this coaster, like I said, has 10 inversions and hashtag Power 10. And basically, yeah, this one's an intimidating one, but I feel like it's lost some of its stature over time as more modern coasters are introduced to the public in not just Thought Park but other theme parks across the UK around the world as well. So, in terms of a star rating, I would give this a strong, but slightly less strong, 7 out of 10 stars. Uh, we're doing a maximum of 10 stars, because, you know, that's mostly the max rating on the show. But, yes, 7 out of 10, because it's still quite kind of strong, but it's still quite average, so compared to the other coasters as well. Moving in then to our next coaster, which is of course Nemesis Inferno. And Nemesis Inferno is of course the Bolligar and Mabiard Inverted Coaster that opened on the Mr. Rabbit's Tropical Travel site the year after Colossus in 2003. Now Nemesis Inferno, aka Project Calypso, for those of you who didn't know the code name, wink wink, uh, basically, Nemesis Inferno is still a great coaster in my eyes. It's still brilliant. So, for this one, I've got to give it an 8. I've got to give it better than Colossus because it, it, it is just an incredible coaster. I'm not being really harsh with these ratings, am I? Uh, but, Nemesis Inferno gets an 8 for me because it's just such a great, great coaster. Uh, not better than the original Nemesis, which is, of course, one of those that gets a rare 10 from me. But, what I can say is that... Nemesis Inferno has more of an edge of your seat thrill than Nemesis. I love Nemesis because of the history and the, the forces it gives and the force that it still gives to this day. But with Nemesis Inferno, I think most of us agree it's got a more extreme layout than Nemesis, the original. So, you know, Inferno still has that, you know, immediate presence and that intimidating stature as a coaster. 
and that's why it gets an 8. That's why it's better than Colossus, in my opinion. Moving in then to our next coaster, and it's, of course, Saw the Ride. At Thor Park, of course. Now, this is a Gerslai Eurofighter that opened at the park in 2009, aka Project Dylan. I didn't know they named a project after Dylan, but if there's any Dylans out there, I would be honoured, my pal. I would be honoured. Now, Saw the Ride, like I said, manufactured by Gerslai, it's a Eurofighter, 100 foot high, 100 degree drop Eurofighter, and I'm not going to lie to you, it is not the best coaster at the park. I'm going to give this rating a 5. I think it's worse than Colossus and that's, you know, according to some people in the industry community, that's saying something. And I think that, you know, Saw the Ride, I'm sure it's still an average ride, but still it's a good ride for the general public, but in my eyes, it just hasn't aged well. I think that's the main thing with Saw the Ride, it hasn't aged well. So, I kind of feel a bit, you know, un underwhelmed every time I ride Saw now. So. You know, Saw the Ride is just not the ride I enjoy, unfortunately. So, you know, I guess we'll just see what happens with the future of the ride. But I've got a feeling it might not last for very much longer. Moving in then to the next one, and that is Stealth. The quick, the fast, the racy Amity Raceway that opened way back in 2006. Replacing the original Flying Fish before it came back the following year. And of course, the Model World, which of course gradually reduced in size. Now, Stealth, of course, is manufactured by Intamin. It's one of their accelerator models, but it is one of the shorter models compared to uh, a certain Queen of Speed at Alton Towers. Wink, wink again. Now, of course, Stealth is, in my opinion, the best launch coaster in the UK. I haven't done Icon, so don't, you know, crown me just yet. But, I still, th uh, without doing Icon, Stealth is the best launch coaster in this country. And, again, it's a good ride. So, again, like... Colossus, I'm going to give it a 7. I was pushing for an 8. It's more of a 7 than Colossus is, but I was pushing for an 8, but maybe not too much. And finally, the Swarm. The Swarm. The Swarm. They're everywhere. It's a Bulgrim Abbeyard Wing Coaster. If you don't know what that is, the track isn't above or below you. It is not even at the side, because the seats are at the side. So, that's why you get no track above and below. Simple mathematics, kids. Um, but basically, yeah, the swarm is themed around this apocalyptic devastation. Got its own, own island. Home island? Home island. Yes, it's Home Island. The rebrand of the closing company, River Island. Now, of course, the swarm is an incredibly immediate present ride. And it's got that stature about it. But not only that, it's one of the best themed, if not arguably the best themed, thrilling coaster in this country and one of arguably the best theme coasters in Europe, in my opinion. I think the Swarm has that presence, and I think it delivers straight away. As soon as you walk in the island, you know you're about to walk into absolute carnage and destruction. So, I really hope they build on the Swarm Island, and I hope they build it at the back. Haha, <laughs> new coaster, please. And um, I hope they do some new stuff with the island, just to keep it fresh and updated, because I don't want to see all that theming go to waste. So, for this one... I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 stars. None of them gets a 10 from me. I'm, I'm hoping Thought Park gives me a brand new coaster that I can give 10 Bush Tucker stars to. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. A big thank you to Ozzy Chow. It's always nice having him on the show. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow. Cool on the Coast Life. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more theme park factual entertainment. We do things with facts. We do things that make you laugh. It's all basic maths. And for now, guys, see you guys soon. Take care. Have an awesome time.